I welcome you all in my YouTube channel Ankur. In our previous lecture, we studied some basic concepts in botany. You, if you haven't seen yet that video, I will give the link in this description box. You, you can watch it later on. In today's topic, we are going to study here the reproduction in higher and lower plants. So, first we will see here the what is the definition of reproduction the, and importance of that reproduction. So, definition here that is production of young ones like parents that one we call here the, the reproduction. What is the importance of this reproduction? That is first one that is the continuity of life and continuation of the species. That one we call the perpetuation and multiplication. Means we get here the Prajavadne and second one Mausha Satatya. So that one we call here the perpetuation and multiplication of that particular plant species. So then we get the difference between in short the lower plants and higher plants. So the lower plants are relatively simple that is they show the primitive characters as we seen in the first lecture and these primitive characters that is uh, for example the algae are there, fungi are there, bryophytes are there and all these plants which we call the lower plants these plants are non-vascular that is they are not having the vascular tissue that one we get the xylem and the phloem. Second group of the plants we get the higher plants. These higher plants are comparatively they are relatively or comparatively they are a complex one that is show the advanced characters. For example the plants which are having the conducting tissue that is xylem and the phloem that is these plants they come the all vascular plants including our angiosperms. So these are the some basic differences in the lower plants and higher plants. So the next point of this our topic is methods of reproduction. So there are different types of methods that is asexual and sexual sometimes according to some the vegetative reproduction is also included in this or it may be categorized in different group that is there may be asexual and sexual reproduction or asexual vegetative and sexual reproduction here the difference between the asexual and sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction there is no any involvement of two sex cells that is there is no any union or the fusion of two sex cells that is the male and female. So single organism is involved in that process that is the asexual reproduction. So after the reproduction of this asexual method you get the individuals and these individuals are genetically identical or genetically similar to that their parent from which they get propagated. So such types of plants we get the one word that one we get the clone that is from single parent you are getting here the same types of plants and these plants are genetically identical. The another part is the sexual reproduction. The word itself shows that the sex cells are involving in this sexual reproduction and these sex cells are male and the female. So from that after the union of this male and female sex cells we get the offsprings. They show the similarity or at some differences also you may get or you may get some combination of characters in this sexual reproduction. There are various types of asexual reproductive methods. 
So these are sexual reproductive methods we get generally in the lower group of plants. And these methods are of different types. In some plants we may get any one method or you may get more than one method. These methods are fragmentation, budding, spore formation, binary fusion, conidia formation, like that. So the first one is fragmentation. That is the same, same plant or the mother plant. We get here the differentiated into pieces. Fragment means we get the small pieces of that particular plant. Here example is Spirogyra which is the algae. You know, aquatic algae and this name of Spirogyra is curved and coiled structure. Unbranched filaments are there and these unbranched filaments that is the having multicellular structure these filaments because of different reasons for example accidental breaking breaking of that filament or death of some middle cells these filaments get separated into various fragments and then these fragments again they behave or they grow as a new plant and we get here the new plants of that spirogyra in water. Another method is budding. For example, fungi like yeast which are unicellular plants. So these unicellular plants here they show the budding that is the mother plant is there which is the unicellular plant. So on this mother plant you get here the very small birds and in the chain. So these birds they get detached from the parent plant. Again they grow and they form the new mature yeast plant. So this is the second method. In the third method we get spore formation. That is these are the special structures from which we get here the formation of new plants. For example, name of the plant Clavidomonas, which is the algae and in that the mature parent plant that it behaves as the zoosporangium. What is this zoosporangium? The structure in which there is the formation of spores by metamorphosis. So here we get the contents of the parent plant, they get metamorphosed into the pieces and these structures they get converted into the spores and these spores here we call the zoo spores. Zoo means the animals and these spores because of the presence of flagella they move here and there and so the name zoo spores. So in water these zoo spores they move here and there they get certain uh, good place again they germinate there and they produce a new plant. So that is the spore formation, zoospore formation in this Clavidomonas. The next one is the binary fusion. That is in some fungi, uh, here mostly in unicellular fungi, we get the mother plant. So this mother plant is the single entity, single structure is there. But here this mother cell and its contents, that is the cytoplasm is there, nucleus is there, they get pinched off here and inner contents as well as the structure goes to differentiate or it gets pinched in the center and they get separated slowly into two parts and final result is you are getting here two new cells or two new structures which are alike or which are similar to that of the mother plant. And again like that you are getting here the another method that is binary fusion. The next method we get the conidia formation. So these are conidia formation or the conidia again these are the special types of spores and the very known a good example is the penicillium. You are all familiar to the antibiotic penicillin which we got from the uh, this plant that is the penicillium. Why the name penicillium? Because that asexual reproductive structure of that penicillium plants it looks like as a broom. Penicillus means a broom or in Marathi we call it as a zadu. 
आपण जो अंगण वगैरे झाडतो त्या झाडूच्या सारखं दिसणार स्ट्रक्चर अँड दॅट वन वी कॉल द पेनिसिलस अँड सो द दॅट पेनिसिलियम इज द नेम टू दॅट पर्टिक्युलर प्लांट सो दिस इज अ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर इन विच ऑन दिस ब्रांचेस यू गेट अगेन द ब्रांच स्ट्रक्चर्स अँड दिस ब्रांचेस वी कॉल द मेटोला ऑन दिस मेटोला अगेन यू गेट हिअर द the bottle like structures and elongated structures are there and that one we call the sterigmata and on this sterigmata again you get the formation of some spores which are in chain so so many spores are there they are in chain and all the structure it appears as that of the broom or we call here the penicillus later on after maturity these spores or the conidia they get detached from that penicillus and again under favorable conditions they germinate and they produce here the new uh, penicillium plants so totally you are getting here the different asexual reproductive methods in the lower plants